You're listening to Screwed Loose. Shout outs go to our syndicates, GoJuiceRadio.com and NWCZRadio.com. Thank you to our sponsor, Garlic Gems Pizza in Lakewood. Find them online at JBLMPizza.com. And now, back to our host, on one, Maz and Magnetic. Well, except Magnetic couldn't be here tonight, but... Back is hurting. Big old titties is weighing it down. <laughs> she can't go swimming nowhere anymore. Damn. Just laying back on the waterbed, letting them uh I heard those are pretty good afloat. flotation devices, though. That's right. That's right. Mm. In the studio with us this evening, we have Mr. Dan Valdez, a.k.a. Dirty D. Yeah. How you doing, sir? What's good? We've got Dan here to play a little bit of his music. I was uh, first privy to his music at Art on the Ave yeah. when he straight up just walked up and handed me a CD. <laughs> uh, listened to it on the way home, and he's got some great stuff. Happen to notice he's affiliated with Undercast, and as everybody knows, anything that comes out of Undercast is a banger. Uh, and Dan is no exception to that. So uh, we've got him in here to talk about his album uh, Take Off that he has out. He's also got some new music out. Uh, one of which that's buzzing right now is a track called Welcome to My Life, which is a Seahawks anthem. Seahawks song. Yeah. Go Hawks. And, yes. Uh, and we're going to be playing that Hashtag for you here. 12 men. <laughs> we're going to play that for you here in just a quick second here in Screwed Loose. Uh, Dan, welcome to the show. Thank you for uh, taking some time out of your night. And uh, I hope you leave here regretting it. <laughs> Uh, Absolutely. Thanks for having me here. Uh, all right, let's get into it. Here's Welcome to My Life. Dan yeah. Valdez, a.k.a. Dirty D, uh, in studio with yeah. us here on Screwed Loose. We'll be right don't back. Let nobody go tell you I don't put on for my city. <laughs> Northwest, let's go. Let's go. Welcome to my life. It's a crazy show. Just a rock star life with the bright lights glow. So when I bow at the end of the show, you will know the pain of the life I chose. Tackle anything that comes my way In my stadium, my team don't play Live in the moment, seize and control it Leave your mind toward it, lose, can't afford it Crazy show, just a rock star life with the bright lights glow. So when I bow at the end of the show, you will know the pain of the life I chose. So welcome to my life, it's a crazy show, just a rock star life with the bright lights glow. So when I bow at the end of the show, you will know the pain of the life I chose. This Welcome to my life. Yeah. Beast mode. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Danny Dan Valdez, a.k.a. Dirty D. Uh, How about them Hawks, though, man? Man, they're killing it right now, and they're going to kill the rest of the season. They're killing it. I, I, hey, mark my words. I, I may say, speak a little too early, but I say undefeated. Undefeated. Ooh. That's a bold statement. That's I'm a, just that's saying. That's a very bold statement. I got faith in our in, in our Hawks. You okay. know. Before the season, I said we lose at maximum three games. Whoa. 
And see, that's instant karmic retribution right there for you. The and I was wrong. Break, that's not going to happen. Right after we're he going said undefeated. That. <laughs> <laughs> we're going undefeated. I guess. See, you can't talk back. <laughs> can't talk bad about the Hawks. Uh uh-uh. uh. All right, Joe. Well, we got one song down from our guest in studio tonight, so you know what that means. You're listening Uh-oh. to Screwed Loose with your hosts on One Mars and Magnetic, and now. It's time for the Hooligan Lightning Round. That's right, everybody. We're doing that Hooligan Lightning yes. Round again this week with Mr. Dan Valdez, a.k.a. Dirty D. And we've got some uh, some more funny questions lined up for him. Right, uh, yes, we filled him in on the drill, but if you don't know what's about to happen, we've got some 10 questions, Lightning Round style, back to back to back, firing them off. We also have the answers prepared. Uh, even though they're opinion questions, and we're going to be buzzing this guy right or wrong. We're going to give right. him some points that don't matter at all, and I then make tally him up, up at the end. Maz is going to keep track of that shit. Let us know who wins. Uh, but what we need to know right now is, Mr. Dan Valdez, are you ready for the hooligan lightning round here on Screwed Loose? Well, I better be. It's, it's, I'm kind of scared, though. Uh, and and very well, you, as very well you should be, sir. The first question of the evening is, what is the first thing you do when you get up in the morning? Hmm. Masturbate. Oh, that is the right, <laughs> the correct that answer. That is the right fucking answer. All right. Spank it was, it was the answer, answer we're looking for. Okay, see, we're on that same level. You're, you're hey, off man, to a, good, a quick 100 points right there. Off to a good start. Uh, what is the color of your toothbrush? 200 Ooh, points. white. No, oh, we it's purple. purple. Mm-hmm. Sorry, oh, it's the bitch's brush. Sorry. <laughs> what state produces the best hip-hop artists? Oh, that's Washington. Nope. Sorry, it's the state of being high. That's right. Oh. What state of creativity is also okay. acceptable. Speaking of which, what is your favorite strain of weed this week? Ooh, probably that purple Kush. No, it's the straight mm. berry straight is what berry. we're looking for. Straight <laughs> berry is the strain of the week. Uh, Dan, what is your favorite size of woman? 100 points. Ooh. Your favorite size of woman. Fun size or all size? Can I answer mm, two? Yeah, I'll take that. We were looking for Megan Fox. Oh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'd take all. He's got 600 points right now. He's doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good. Off to a great start. Uh, number, question number six. How high are you right now? Uh, you know, I'm not on one. Not on one, but a little high? Yeah, a little. All high. right, we'll take it. It's acceptable. <laughs> it's, it's, Any it's, amount of highness is acceptable. acceptable. Yeah, yeah, as long as you are high, that's good enough. What is your favorite Northwest independent hip-hop track? Mm, that's a tough one. Actually, damn, you're gonna make me think on you that. You gotta come up. This is a lightning round, brother. You got about three seconds. Independent? Independent. Uh, besides myself? Besides yourself. Oof, man, you're killing me. I, I have to say, um, I'm, I'm Grinch, my Volvo. All right, we'll take Anything that. Anything besides right. Macklemore was <laughs> yeah. the answer. <laughs> He's up to astonishing 1,500 points. We got a new leader already on the Oh, my goodness. Board. Wow, and we still got three <laughs> questions left. Uh, Dirty D, what's your favorite sexual position or act? Hmm. Doggy style, straight up. Sorry, it's the brown shake is what we were looking <laughs> what? for. Wait, what's uh, that? Shit. The brown shake is when you're having anal sex with a girl. You pull out, wipe off, and then as you're on the way out the door, you, you shake, shake her father's, father's hand. hand. <laughs> number nine, what is your favorite Lakewood Garlic Jim's pizza topping? Sponsored Ooh. by JBLMPizza.com. Uh, uh, I don't even know. Pepper. No, nah, it's the garlic. 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 On, oh, man. duh. Garlic. garlic. Come on, today, man. Yeah, that <laughs> common sense. All right. Last question of the evening. Uh, for how many points, Miles? Hey, this one's for a. Uh, uh We'll match your score. So you got 1,500 points 1,500 right now. points. You could double your score for an <laughs> insane lead right now. What is the worst job you can imagine on having? Ooh, I already had one. What was it? I had to. Uh, you didn't have this one. I, well, probably not, but <laughs> I had to do uh, concrete waterproofings, which means I had to go down in the sewers, and I had to f- fill the concrete with, uh, 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 my brain's not working, but... Uh, Ah. Concrete? No. Concrete, yes. But <laughs> All right, well, fiberglass. That, that fiberglass. Is, that is way better than the job that we thought you were going to answer, which was audio engineer for Taylor Swift. Oh, hell no. <laughs> but, <See>? oh, <laughs> Dan Dirty D. Valdez, thank you so much for playing the Hooligan Lightning <laughs> Round with us here on Screw Loose. 1,500 points. That's the leaderboard by 40 points. 1,460 was the highest score. Wait, wait. Oh, so- no, it was 1,420, wasn't it? Was it? It was fourteen twenty. Right, yeah, fourteen twenty. It doesn't the, matter. The- <laughs> He's on top. So fifteen hundred. Am I? Am I above everyone? Yeah. 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 You are the best. We've Currently. only been doing this for three weeks, but what? you are. You are number one out of, out of right. Sky <laughs> Pilot and uh, and 
fuck? Who did we have in last week? I am high. Oh. <laughs> the Sav. The Sav was That's in right. last week. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. man. Hey, uh, the Sky Pilot are my boys, but uh, I just, you know, I gotta, I, I have to one-up them. <laughs> you, know, you know what was funny is the first time we ever played it was with Sky Pilot, and the very first question that we ever came up with was, what is your favorite color of stripper panties? Ooh, and we, that's a fun one. What we, would you have answered? What would you have answered? Uh, pink. Pink, oh, yeah. Man. We, see-through, man. We said see-through, oh. and he guessed it right. He said see-through. Really? Yeah. No. Sh- they got it the first one off the back. It was it was like, it solidified. It made me know that this was the right thing to do with this show. <laughs> <laughs> we should be doing this lightning round every week. <laughs> he got the first one right, too. That, yeah, you came, out, you came out of the gate with a good answer, too. I swung so. on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm really sad that you didn't get brown shake right there. I'm, I don't know. Well, now I know. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm gonna try that too. <laughs> they don't call me Dirty D for nothing. Like, like hey, baby. hey baby, is your dad home? Why? <laughs> no, I just want to try something. Wipe well, this brown off and give him a handshake. <laughs> oh man, I've done some dirty things, but that takes the cake. <laughs> well, with, with the name Dirty D, man, where uh, where did that name come from? Like, uh, is Woo. it just? Uh, are you really a dirty boy? <laughs> well. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm physically, and I'm, I'm not too bad. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, dirt don't hurt, but I kind of have a dirty mind, and I, well, who doesn't? But mine kind of exceeds everybody else. Yeah, and, and interesting I, video shoots I hear too. Yeah, well, I, you know, I have a okay. My vice is women. Let's go ahead and just say it. Like, and I got a, I my addiction is sex. So I kind of have this thing for women and i i think i'm a sexaholic though this sexaholic is, okay. I, I, you ever been to the meetings nah man but i kind of like being a sexaholic he's like i don't want to <laughs> you shit. know what i'm saying i think you go to the meetings and meet some people nice usually girls. love their but i think i should go because man i'm getting older man so i gotta like calm down a little bit yeah you watching too much porn <sighs> man. making it too much or fucking too much uh t- Problem. I'd like to do both, but <laughs> but I mean, I, you know, like I've, I've been trying to keep it safe. And when I mean safe, I mean away from psycho bitches. Like I heard the fuck out of that. It's an yeah. epidemic. You know, no, seriously, it is. for yeah. real. Especially it's in, the in the water in Tacoma, definitely. Oh my God, definitely. Like, I'm not even playing. People don't understand. Why do you think we're serial killers are from here? We got Ted Bundy. We got uh, what's his name? The the Green River Killer guy, mm-hmm. Gary mm-hmm. Ridgeway. Uh, the cats that shot up DC. Oh, back. DC they, snipers. They, they bought their shit from 64th and Pacific, where they have the bull. Yep. Yeah. The, Oh, uh, bullseye. <laughs> bullseye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it, I bet we have a lot more than that. We just don't know it. Like, oh, no, I was going to say, there's some yet to be uncovered, um, I'm sure. Oh, guaranteed. Uh, I like, mean, don't look at it this way. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I don't know that for sure. I'm just saying. There's I just bet. multiple serial killers out there waiting to be found. It's weird, though. I I find that stuff entertaining. Like, you'll catch this. Okay, you're gonna, here's some secrets, man. You guys are pulling secrets out of me. Awesome, but, good. Yeah, but I, the beans. I have a Weird weird therapist. fascination with serial killers. Like, I'll sit there and I will study the shit out of like Ted Bundy or or Charles Manson. Or uh, Charles Manson really fascinates me, even though he wasn't really that much of a killer, was yeah, he? Yeah, you know he, he made re- people kill for him. Yeah, he reminds me of uh, uh, who was that actor, the, Corey Feldman, mm. but like, like he. So he reminds me of an actor, but he's acting in a very um, evil, debaucherous way. I guess you could say. Word. But like, but I mean, you know what I mean. He's never killed anybody. He he like influences other people's minds to do it which is amazing crazy, man. i wish i had that power not to kill people necessarily but to take their clothes off you know to like <laughs> do all that kind of stuff so can we had, swear on here oh absolutely yeah. absolutely fucking lose <laughs> so if you had a license to kill who would you kill for real though yeah like if you're have, oh, you, have, have, you, ever seen that, man. have you seen that movie um oh fuck it's um which one? Oh shit now i'm forgetting the name it's like welcome to uh but it's not is it? Oh, it's it's name? about the guy that goes on the the serial killing rampage, but he's killing all like mm. the pop stars and the TV stars and the little white. Oh, yeah, on dude TV. just goes crazy. Wait, is it kind of like God bless America? Is it yeah, humorous too? Right? Yeah, I've God, seen that. God bless America. I love that movie. If you could do, if you could do a God bless America, like who would you start with? Oh man, that's a tough one. But I'd have to start with like 
Miley Cyrus or something. Oh, I was, I was, yeah, no, I, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we got the. No, no, actually, number one would be Justin Bieber, though, straight up. Really? Justin Bieber first? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but there's something about him that just makes me want to backhand him. Like, well, he, de- he definitely needs a fucking backhand. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> there's. I mean, he's he's doing his thing, but for for now, people are going to start hating him, though. You know I mean, mean, he's getting old now. Yeah. As he gets older, he's not as cute. You know what I'm saying? You remember when he came through Tacoma and oh, then played, so the, played the Tacoma Dome, Dome and man. then left and they were all like, who stole his laptop? Back that back. day I was like, I bet some naked pictures of him are going to surface tomorrow. And did and you see the one with Ray J on top of him? No, I did not see that one. He's butt fucking <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Justin like, Bieber. Like the Kardashian I think style. I have it on my phone, is actually. It, is, it, is it like a superimposed yeah, yeah, on yeah, the Kim Yeah, 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 superimposed. Okay. <laughs> you, know the, you know the picture of Ray J fucking Kim said, Kardashian? What? <laughs> no, man. And she's like looking straight in the camera and they're... Bo- Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. You, hey, you, you see, you got to hang with the <laughs> true pervs. Yeah, true yeah. pervs. <laughs> yeah, you got to yeah. uh, We'd be on our shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ding, oh. docking oh, points. Oh, oh, I might. Actually, there's a bell right over there next to you. If you could read that, I'm gonna try to pull this up for uh, Ray J. Fucking Kim <laughs> Kardashian. You know. Oh, and I found out. By the way, uh, Guess Her Muff is back. It's now GuessHerMuff.net. Oh, they've got their own website. It's not on Blogspot anymore. Well, there you go. I think they just moved it. They That's didn't actually get happened. taken down. Right. Yeah. So we can play that game again. If we... I wish Magnetic was here. This, Guess this Her would... Muff. Guess her muff. Like yeah, her yeah. vagina? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. It's just, it's just... <gasps> Speaking of, have you guys seen the new... Oh, my God. I, this is making me sick, for real. But, I mean, I'm. it's going to make me look sick. But uh, this one right here. they have this weird new Chinese porn where, like, it's, like, incestuous. And the old, like, the, the old dad has to guess. They line up six Chinese women uh-huh. naked. And the dad has to, like, finger and, like lick them and stuff like to figure out which one's his daughter and shit oh that's terrible and then he, some that's of them terrible. end up fucking him it's that's fucked terrible. up that's hella terrible i know only in china right china china's why, crazy but why but that's some freudian shit man i don't even know what that word means but probably <laughs> <laughs> you know he knows all the serial killers but there's no sigmund freud oh yeah <laughs> you know what it could be it probably it probably it probably is like taboo like fake shit though but yeah but it yeah it, 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 is it really my daughter I yeah know. exactly right. damn there was uh i'm, I'm gonna put stacy on blast because she didn't show up for the show today and can't tell me not to tell the story <laughs> but we went up to seattle one night and i remember um we were she was following <laughs> a, a local artist i won't put him on blast uh, but okay. she was kind of following him around he was you know at the clubs I was her ride, and I we had just gotten out of our own show, and I was beat, tired, so I was like, I'm going to go sleep in the car. She comes back to the car with a story that she met this beautiful girl, started hanging out with her at the bar, Uh-oh. and started making out with her, and then she kind of like went off you know, to go to the bathroom or whatever, and this other girl that was with Stacy was like, you know who that is, right? And it was some porn star, and they like looked her up there in the bar, and it's just like videos of her getting DP. and all Which this one shit. is that? <laughs> I'm gonna look her up tonight. Yeah, I, won't, I, won't, <laughs> I won't. I won't say all the name and shit, but it was like Stacy was just like making out with that chick, and it was like, oh, it was a porn star. All right. I actually nice. fucked a uh, porn star before. Did you? Yeah. Which one? Well, I don't know her porn name. That's the fucked up. I know her real name. Her real name is Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer? I'll go ahead and say it. Yeah, I can't Jennifer? say Jennifer? Yeah, Jennifer. I know. Foreplay. Really? But like, yeah, it's really her sure? name. Are you sure that's not her porn name? <laughs> I, she was really born with it. It's crazy. But Jennifer foreplay? St- let me tell you, these porn stars have crazy stories. When, when you like are one-on-one with them and they tell you why they have become as fucked up as they are and uh-huh. shit like that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Psycho like, crazy type oh. shit. <laughs> Should, I gotta imagine I kinda, it's mostly I kinda, for the money, man. Why else? I mean, it, you know, like I mean, you, you for, get desperate. You're about to get lose your house, or you want to pay for college, or it's your that baby needs to get fed, and you got your body. You got a nice body. Let's sell it. True, but some of them are just like, how do you put it? I don't know. They, they got, just like fucking. They get paid. For you know what I'm saying? N- nymphs. Yeah. Nymphos. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. They just like just, fucking, and they get like, paid. For I like fucking. If like, I can get paid for it like, too, then like the same reason I do podcasting. If yeah, I can do this and get paid for it, same buddy, reason man. you know there's the Seahawks. This girl told me. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah. I like football. <laughs> I just get paid to play it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. But you know, if it weren't for porn. 
I mean, you can't I mean, relate if, porn to football though. Man. <laughs> like, football's a little bit harder to get into. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it weren't for hip hop, I'd be in porn. Two of the things I was made and born for. Is that right? That's what I'm saying. What well, was well, you can do both. I know, but the you thing is, both. plenty of rappers have sex tapes. Ri- well, but man, like the thing is, some of them, if it's dudes. It, like they don't go very far after that. I feel like, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But if it's females, their 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 careers skyrocket. You know what I'm saying. Uh, so it's like it's it's you know hit or miss. But then again, I feel like um, I'm probably cooler than those dudes that have put out <laughs> their porn tapes and shit. <laughs> Especially like what's his name, um, Fred D. Fred Durst or oh, whatever. Yeah. That guy, disgusting. I haven't seen, haven't seen that one. He's so gross, man. He's a total tool bag. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I could have told you that when he put out $3 bill, y'all. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. And that's the problem. Some people compare me to Limp Bizkit with my music because it's rap rock. So wow. they automatically put you in a category. Just like if you're a white rapper, they automatically used to be like, oh, you sound like Eminem. Yeah. But now, you know, now there's more popping up and, and stuff. So eventually now there's more ra- white rappers to compare you to right right exactly <laughs> but hopefully it's the same it'll be the same thing with the rap rock world too you know because there's only a handful there's that made it you know kid rock limp Bizkit, and who else uh beastie boys are kind of like on that level but there's not a lot there's not a lot yellow wolf is kind of there too though mm, he's he's i don't know kind of he's that's kind of borderline yeah i don't yeah. know he, I, I, your stuff, your stuff is in a league of its own, though, brother. I appreciate I mean, and, that, and and it's, I, I think it's that. a team you got working for. I assume Isaac Meek does a lot of your guitar, kills it. Yeah, um, they, yeah, nobody can compare to that guy when it comes to putting some heavy metal on a hip hop track. I mean, he. A lot of people don't know, but Isaac started in a heavy metal band. I'm no, I'm sure he did. Yeah, I, I can definitely hear it, but uh, it doesn't sound like heavy metal when he does it on right. a hip hop track. I mean, every right. everything I hear him lay down anymore is it's. It's something else. It's a it's a whole world of its own, man. And I appreciate it. So, uh, what got you working with Undercast, man? Well, I've actually been doing it for a lot of people don't realize this. I've been doing it for a long time now. Like I've been doing it for almost as long as like Macklemore's been doing it. You know, like I've wow. been at it for a very. Long. I've been in the scene off and on for that long. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, when MySpace was a big deal. I was kind of a big deal. <laughs> and then MySpace died and I kind of, but I died before MySpace died because, um, I had this, this, I used to have a hundred thousand people on MySpace friends okay. or whatever. And I was getting like, I want to say like 6,000 plays on average a day, you know? Okay. And, uh, I, I, a buddy of mine was murdered and he was stabbed to death in a parking garage over a chick mm. And Damn. yeah, that's the worst. Mm-hmm. And Damn. like, and, um, it was by, um, one of good Charlotte's best friends, a guy named, um, uh, um, Ted. Oh, what's his dang name? It's been a while. Uh, well, he was in a band. He's the lead singer of, uh, permanent holiday. And there were a couple punk bands from Hollywood. Okay. And anyway, so he was good friends with Ted Skillet. That's the other name I was trying to think of. Okay. Uh, who was Tom's right hand man on MySpace back in the day. And so they, uh, he was you also Tom MySpace Tom. T- MySpace Tom. Okay. Damn. Yeah. 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 Crazy, right? Word. And so wait, 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 wait a minute. Your your buddy got stabbed to death by to- MySpace Tom's right hand man. No, no, no. Tom's right hand man, the buddy. Uh, his friend, Tony, okay. Tony Lovato, that was his name. Tony Lovato. Tony Lovato. Okay. He stabbed my friend to death and Damn. he was friends with Ted Skillet, who's Tom's right hand man. Okay. Mm. There we go. And so, uh, anyway, he got out the next day on self defense, which is bullshit because he was stalking my buddy. And I know cause the stories he, he used to tell me and stuff. And, um, and he was stalking the girl cause he was obsessed with her. Mm and anyway long story short i did this song called pain on that takeoff mm-hmm, album mm-hmm. that you got and uh it's all it is is basically me lyrically just destroying him like it was, i was wondering what that was about yeah it, it, kind, of, it kind of is like a sore thumb in the in the whole album it sticks out so that's why i just i vented i literally wrote i was going to talk to you about that off air <laughs> oh oh yeah 
That's I, crazy. Man. I literally wrote it fast. I wrote it probably within like 20 minutes, the whole song. And then I went in the next day to the studio at Undercast and I recorded it and told uh, Isaac what I was going through and he fit the 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 beat to what I was feeling mm-hmm. and the guitar. And uh, and anyway, we I put it up on MySpace the next day just because for free. And um, people were loving it and hating it. It was causing a lot of controversy and I didn't even mean for that, but I just was trying to vent and, and be a, a, a voice for the voiceless, which was my friend, you know, and his daughter who was three years old at the time. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, um, so he, they ended, long story short, they ended up, um, taking over my account and that I worked so hard for, for like years. And then, uh, who's, who do you, who's they, they as in uh, Ted skillet, or uh yeah myspace and and so uh and tony lovato was with him and they decided to take over my account block me out of it with all my fans on there and they decided to make fun of me and post all this stuff uh just totally just ripping me you know what i'm saying and and i couldn't even do anything about it so to 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 an artist that's kind of devastating because you especially because you have that's uh, there's a word for that like uh um you didn't assume you know what i'm saying it's it's messed up but so what it did was uh, it devastated me for a while because i i couldn't do nothing about it you know no matter what i did yeah that's fucked up and uh they and and three days later they wiped my account clean so i had to start fresh i a hundred thousand friends fans that I had to, and, and I didn't even get online for another like year and a half, two years, because I was just so like, oh, f- fuck, man. Like, you know what I mean? I worked so hard and now it's just gone. Wipe for me. You know what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of people don't realize, but you shouldn't rely on these internet sites and stuff all the time. You know what I mean? Like, cause you gotta have a backup just in case something does happen like that. You know what I mean? Right. And so, um, just a little heads up to the new kids and shit, but, um, but anyway, long story short, um, I've tried to make a comeback now, and I'm I'm starting to rebuild my buzz, and I'm I'm back to my roots here in Tacoma. This is where I grew up and born and raised. So, you know, like I uh, to me, it's home. You know, kicking it here with you guys is nice too. It's, it feels like home in here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we try to we try to give off that vibe. Man. You know, we like try to keep it comfortable in here. You it, know? Is. it is. It's, it's like We're a little in, uh, p- party cave. NWCZ Radio Studios. Yeah, man. We we like to we like to keep the ambiance nice. We got the disco ball and the posters and all that shit. Uh, next time I should bring some uh, some groupies. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I, thought <laughs> I, I thought I included that in the email. Um, I should have not. I should have thought of that. But. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh so so pain actually yeah. came out a long time ago it did and you've got it on this album take off when did you release that take off i i believe i released that in 2010 wow okay yeah 2010 oh wow, it's three years old yeah hmm. yeah and i've been working on my newest album right now and i got this tattoo on my arm for people who can't see it but it's, radio yeah. yeah it's a monkey skull uh with headphones on and nice. um the album's called shock the monkey kind of like I, got, I was inspired um i wasn't thinking peter gabriel you know <laughs> although that's he was amazing but i was thinking when i named the album i wanted something that was like you know how old school um, rock and roll grunge era people were naming their bands and their albums outlandish weird names Nirvana Pearl Jam Alice in Chains like these are weird names how they had to have been on drugs to think of that stuff uh, well of course yeah besides no. weed oh well, no I mean Kurt <laughs> Cobain was obviously notorious uh, For heroin heroin use yeah. and uh, I think so was uh, 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 Lance Staley yeah yeah Lance, Lance Staley. And, uh, yeah, actually with Lance Daly, that's a quick little, while we're there, uh, I, I met, um, Allison Chain's manager. She's actually really cool. I tried to, uh, hook up with her, but <laughs> I, I was trying, you know, cause if you DM down, like you might get them on lock. That's funny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then they like, oh yeah, yeah, here, uh, I'll open up for Allison Chain's. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> that would be weird to see Dan Valdez open up for Allison Chains. That would be I like s- the Emerald Queen. 
Oh my <laughs> the Emerald <laughs> That was the last place he played, man. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No shit. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, Big D, the owner of NWCZ Radio, went there and he got a, a signed CD from him. It's up. Oh wow. There. On the, the on the merch shelf that up, we got up here. top, yeah, up there top right. Oh wow, that's awesome though. Yeah, that I, man, I I study the shit out of grunge era, like because I am that I come from that era, you know. Yeah. So that's. Did you like Bush? Um, is that a trick question? <laughs> 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 because he did seem a little like. No offense to uh, I, you know, he seemed homo. But like he doesn't. But who, who Gavin Rosdow? Red Gavin Rosdow. I met him though. But yeah, but he's married to fucking Gwen, Gwen Stefani. Stefani now. I'm pissed. What an <laughs> asshole, man. Like he he wins. Yeah, he <laughs> All wins. Around, he like, win. like, <laughs> like he seems kind of kinda homo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, he does what he does, but he's with Gwen Stefani, so whatever. Yeah. So uh, I actually have, right, go ahead. Then, I have a picture with him actually, <laughs> Gavin Rosdow. Like I met him at um. Soto. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. And, and I just ended up, uh, had, I was with some groupies. He had uh, a t- shit ton of groupies. <laughs> and like, I think he, lo- you know, I think he messes around on Guestafani. I have a feeling. If I was Gavin Rosdale, I probably would do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> And if I was Gwen Stefani, I probably would do. <laughs> <laughs> As, hey, next time she comes here, she should come to me. I'm saying though. You feel man, me? Gwen Stefani. Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't even get me started. So we're gonna listen to that pain song, or gonna... uh, do we want to play pain on the? I don't. I don't know if pain's really a song for the radio, it, man. The, like, it, 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 we could we'd play it, but I think it, we'll save that for another time because Word. I feel like this one it might. Um, we need we need some I, I, good vibes. And, and I, I, right, right. I think yeah. I think we need a little more positive vibes. And I think uh, I think the listeners, just us talking about it, are going to want to go listen to it because yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, it's a very moving song, um, but it, it gets it gets real deep. Yeah, it, it gets real deep. It's, you can tell it's about the murder of your your friend, man. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, I knew it was I knew it was something crazy, man. That's a but that's a very deep song. Yeah. Um, but that is a good idea, Miles. Let's get into some music. Um, I do want to get into a few tracks off of Takeoff, and we've also got some new stuff from you too. Yeah. Um, but let's play, let's play some Takeoff because we we already played a new track already. So um, absolutely, I want to play "Bringing Me Down." She want a monster because that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I feel alive. Absolutely. A uh, nice little block right there, and we come in, and then we can play some more tunes uh, a little later. I in the feel show. alive is a funny one. It, uh, <laughs> it's about my golden cock. The, right, the golden <laughs> cock. <laughs> That's where I got my logo. People don't realize that. But a girl named it a long time ago. So <laughs> The golden cock? Yeah. Nice. So nice. I just stuck with it. All right. Well, we got Dan Valdez, a.k.a. Dirty D, here on Screwed Loose, uh, sponsored by Garlic Gems and Lake with JBLMPizza.com. Yeah. Magnetic, we're missing you. Uh, I know this would be uh, a lot more fun with you here. This yeah. is uh, the perfect interview for you, babe. I wish you were here. Uh, but Dan Valdez, here it is, bringing me down off of takeoff. We'll be right back. I'm going to yeah. get high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
down and dirty, sexually explicit. Girl, you know you wanna get up on that pole, get up on my pole, you little hoe. I will show you rock and roll, blow down what I behold. My cock is made of gold, your points are left to zero, so you're licking down from low. Yeah. Girl, you're drunk, they special, get up on my level, mix and rap, pop, rock, and that heavy metal. Yeah, I slept for several, the cupid hit the girls, but I'm still waiting for my arrow to occur. Uh, words. The song is equal to me flipping you the bird, I never knew pussy cats would be sucking on a bird, but that pussy took my wings, still going for my dreams, being the realest, dirty D, damn Valdez like a B. Dirty Jan with my big cock in my Stop hand. A Dirty D. We also heard she want a monster. Huh. Yes, she do. Kicked it all off with bringing me down. Some good stuff. All of the album Take Off released uh, just a, a, a few years ago, but it's new to me, man. Um, yes. And we got Dan himself in the studio. Brother, killer music, man. Um, I, I don't know how I've gone this long without hearing hearing about you, hearing from you. Maybe your MySpace was down too long. <laughs> Maybe something like that. No, well, that's for sure, but um, it might also just because uh, I've been kind of, you know what I'm saying, putting my ducks in order before I decided to just blast myself again, which is coming up real soon. Good. So, I'll Good. Be- what, so speaking of that, what do you have in the works? Like, do you have a tour? Do you have videos? Yeah, I um I actually just shot a video for a song called Let's All Party that I think you play pretty soon here. Yeah, and then, I got that lined up here in a, in a few minutes. I got got a couple more tracks from me. We're gonna yeah. Play. But, uh, so Let's All Party. Let's All Party turned out freaking awesome. We I had like about 100 people show up. Uh, and we, we literally told people three days before. And uh, nice. just, yeah. And it was free booze. Uh, my boy, Josh Miller, he owns Brass Monkey Tattoo in uh, Lakewood. And, uh, and you bought all the booze between Josh, me, Josh bought the most actually. He's balling, but oh man, yeah, he was like, where was my invitation? I yeah, it was Facebook. Come on, man. <laughs> or was it on MySpace? You gotta pay attention to me. <laughs> the, the invitations <laughs> were on on MySpace, so they weren't around. Ah, oh. no, it turned out killer though. You said I mean, thousand people there? No, no, a hundred, but still, hundred. Okay. It, it's like you know, a hundred in a tattoo, a shop. tattoo shop, exactly, right. like the size of in here, basically. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. How many people got tattoos after that? Um, actually, probably quite a bit. I know they were lining up appointments and stuff. So yeah. Do you got one from that day? Um, no, I I got one from the day before. My my chest right here from my mom. Okay. Because her name was Rose, so I got Is roses. That Sacred Heart. Yeah, yeah. I got roses. Uh, roses right here. Cause her name and then the heart above it, uh, cause you know she's in my heart and mm. um, the 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 fire is cause she is the passion behind why I even do what I do. You know what I'm right. saying? Cause she was a musician, so 
I grew up around it. And then she took me to her band rehearsals and, and whatnot. So I would, you know, like it, it, when she died, I quit sports and I took over with music and shit. So it right. was, it's, it's no brainer to me, you know? Word. Yeah. I feel that brother. And I'm I, sorry to hear, uh, sorry to hear about your mom's passing, but, mm-hmm. uh, oh. glad you got an inspiration. Well, yeah. You know, it lights definitely, I mean, it sucks, trust me, but it lit a fire under my ass too. So yeah, something we you know all have saying? in common, I think. Yeah. I think every, everybody yeah? in this room, we, we share that. Yeah. Man. No shit. It's a, it, it's quite a thing to go through, man. Losing <laughs> family members. Yeah. See, well, yeah. Especially mom, you know, especially mom. Yeah. I mean, it sucks no matter what, but mom is like, psh, that's the one key player. She's, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, she's quarterback yeah <laughs> she's she's the russell wilson <laughs> oh man but uh but yeah man so uh, we did the, the the video turned out great actually uh i'm he's still editing it uh-huh. um my boy t sega is okay. his name uh t sega films with a z and he's he, man he's that's my guy and he shot my my seahawk anthem video for me also okay and another one i did called freak so but uh where are where what's the channel these are all available it's on? all on youtube just type in dan valdez and it'll all pop up okay Val- that's the is that your username dan yeah valdez? yeah so i that's mean all. what do you what do you prefer to go by is it dan valdez or dirty d dan valdez people just know me as dirty d okay so i, I the only reason i don't go by dirty d is because uh i mean they're you know what i mean it's it's not as unique so all right I, I, you know, a lot of rappers, I mean, and plus that's the old school mentality. A lot of people don't realize, but old school mentality is you got to have a nickname if you're going to be a rapper, you know what I'm saying? But that's not true. This 2013 now. And like, that was true maybe back in 1999, you know, when I started, but, um, but now it's 2013 and anybody's doing everything, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So sure. it's like, it doesn't matter anymore. So, uh, to me, there's no point in having a nickname. I'm just gonna go by my name, Dan Valdez, and it it has a ring to it anyway. I think so. No, Dan Val Dan Valdez is a is a great name, man. Thanks. Um, yeah. Why not just drop the the AKA Dirty D off of the album and all that stuff? I think I am on this album. It's just okay. gonna be Dan Valdez. Um, I'm gonna have Dirty D. And what was it? Shock the Monkey is the Shock new one? the Monkey. Yeah, and it should be out on Halloween, hopefully on iTunes. Hmm. Oh, on Halloween. Yeah. Wow. So we're only about a month away. Yeah. Yeah. And Google Play. Uh, but uh, Dirty D comes out in the album, but it's it's Dan Valdez. You know what I'm saying? It's just sometimes I can't help but have that personality come out. You know what I'm saying? The dirty D? Yeah. Yeah, I can't shake on one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it, it's just kind of, it sticks with you. But I mean, it's not who I am. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's just a piece of me. I dig it. Well, yeah. I mean, when I was, you know, I had my first impression of, of meeting you at Art on the Ave and then, you know, checking out the CD. And, you know, I'm like, okay, Dirty D, he's a hip hop artist. Right. You know, um, it turned out to be something way different than, than what I was expecting. When I thought Dirty D, I thought I was going to get some real, like, gutta hood gangster yeah. type shit. <laughs> like, too short, like, Word. style or something. Yeah. Word. Like, you know, but, and then you hit me in the face with uh, with, with the uh, the shredding guitar with Isaac Meek on the guitar. Oh, and then God. you hit me with the uh, uh, high quality production, which, you know, usually doesn't come from hood gutta shit. No. No. <laughs> um, You know what I mean? I don't know. It was totally opposite of what I was expecting to hear, and uh, right. but it, but it was it was refreshing because I like your style of music, man. You've got a uh, you've got a real real unique flow. Uh, it, it's fresh. It's it's definitely fresh from uh, what I'm used to hearing. And incorporating the rock. Anybody who's been paying attention to my show the last I don't know ten episodes or so, <laughs> especially the the show that we threw at the Harmon Tap Room, knows that I've I'm really digging the uh the integration of rock and hip-hop now oh and we seem to be doing it a lot more and more every day in tacoma the more i look around and open my eyes up i'm seeing cats like sky pilot yeah uh seeing cats like uh sweet kiss mama dabbling in the hip-hop and in in electronic type stuff uh and seeing all kinds of other other hip-hop artists getting more rock influence in their stuff um we did the uh it was maybe five or ten minutes but we did the uh the rock hip-hop freestyle jam at the Harmon on uh july 12th oh really yeah it mm-hmm. was uh we had uh vivid all up there was jamming on we had we had a few bands play where was my invite it was on <laughs> Facebook. this was Shit. this was 
this on was, air. You know what's funny <laughs> is this was July 12th, which was my birthday. <laughs> okay. And it oh, was, I, well. that was the week before I met you because Art on the Ave was July 19th. I oh, think. that's right, dude. Yeah. Or July 20th or something. It was like the next, it was the following Sunday. Okay. And oh, so shit. So I had just met you the the week after. Yeah. Uh, or you definitely would have gotten an invite. I was annoying on Facebook. I think I lost a bunch of friends that <laughs> yeah. week. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I do that on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. I know I lose followers left and right. <laughs> me too. too. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I fuck them. Half of them aren't following me for a reason anyway. I don't even know who, who <laughs> they I mean, are. I, I mean, I love all of you followers. Twitter followers. Yeah, thank yeah, you. yeah. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate every each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> anyways, where were we going? Hey, with that? hey, uh, if I get a rock and rap before we get there, can I just say that uh, if I get up to, uh, let me get up the day I get up to uh, ten thousand followers on Twitter, uh-huh. I'm gonna post a naked picture on my ex wife. Oh, oh shit! Everybody, go follow. What's your, what's your Twitter? <laughs> it's just at Dan Valdez. At Dan Valdez, you want to go follow that guy? How many you got now? Not even in. I just got hip to it, so I'm like at like I want to say 900 or something. All right, so 900. All right, yeah. that's actually not a bad the starting number. Uh, right. I don't even know how the, I even people even followed me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was just like I got how on many it. People and, are you following? Um, now because of all the football players I'm following, <laughs> probably like uh 1500 or something. Okay, word. Yeah. All right. Because right. because I I was following like every favorite football player there is basically nice yeah you were you, you mentioned you had some uh football players retweet or yeah uh, or, or tweet your your, your track um uh, welcome to my life yes yes uh who who all retweeted you golden tate wow yeah okay. which was a big thing for me because i'm a f- huge fan of his yeah and fucking I, I didn't even know like i had a homeboy i woke up because I wake up late. <laughs> I'm a rock star, so, you know. Like, <laughs> word, word. So then I check my phone, and next thing I know, like, I have my boy text me. He's like, hey, my 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 dude Tate shared your video on his Facebook. I'm uh-huh. like, what is this? Who is this? What are they talking about? Like, what? <laughs> I, didn't, I, mean, I didn't even pay no mind until the end of the day when, like, um, I was like, damn, my, why is my video up 7,000 views right now? Right. <laughs> and then next thing you know, uh, I asked that. I said, shout out to whoever's helping me spread the word on Facebook or whatever. And my boy goes, well, it's probably a different one. He's like, well, it's probably because uh, Golden Tate shared it on his Facebook and shouted you out, too, on top of it. He's Damn. Like, he's like, shout out to Dan Valdez for the uh, 2013 Seahawk anthem, blah, blah, blah. Damn. I think like, I saw that, actually. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah nice. You know what pissed me off, though? He posted Macklemore's Can't Hold Us right after mine. So it was basically like a, a competition. Dude, that's fucking oh, great, man. Yeah, it's good. That's and why you guys Believe it or not. Views. And here's, here's, yeah, here's the thing about my video is that like people either love it or hate it, right? Because, right. and we have a, this is a hateful city or, yeah. you know, state. <laughs> like it, it sure can be. It yeah, can be. Yeah. yeah. And so like um, the people, uh, the people that don't, that, that were hating on it or whatever, uh, some of them didn't even listen to the song. They're just like, ah, whatever. Like, you know what I'm Word. saying? Or they were like, um, obsessed with Macklemore because he's so huge right now, and right. they're he's so relevant, and and they're so uh, well, they're, they're just hating on anything but him. Yeah. yeah, but now you know, but but I mean, so I'm since I'm fresh and new, I was the underdog, obviously. Right. So, but long story short, um, more people shared from tate's page my video than they did macklemore's nice. even though the, even though i had more hateful comments uh <laughs> m- i had more likes and more shares than macklemore's wow yeah Not, so, and when was that uh i want to say a month two months ago wow. two nice. months ago yeah nice but, brother yeah it was that was and then see it was on cbs uh sports um, uh, page uh, for Seattle also uh, for people to vote to get it played in the field and sent at Century Link Field and stuff. Nice. So that was pretty cool, cool too. That's and then cool. Aaron Levine shared it from Q13 on Twitter and Sean Kemp, like nice, yeah, like up, all man. kinds of people. So I was just like, that's that's the twelfth yeah. man right there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets around. Man. Congratulations, man. And people hate all the time, but you know what? Like, it's the, I don't care who it is. I'm sorry, and this may sound conceited, but it's the best one out there. And I put the bar really high, so like, <laughs> if if they somebody else can bring it, then go ahead, try. But you know, 
I think I, I I'm waiting to hear uh, Deranged Pitt's new one. Who's that? You don't know Deranged Pitt, uh-uh. dude. He makes some banger Seahawk anthem songs. Really? Yeah, man. He's got three out, and I think he's working on his fourth one. Is this year is his fourth one? Huh. Uh, I've never. And I saw he's been working with. I believe Boombox did the beat. Really? And uh, he's. I can't remember where he was recording it, but I saw a picture of him in the in a booth, and he was hyping it. It might already be out, I, and I'm just sleeping on it. Yeah. I'm not the I hugest football out, plan, yeah. football fan, and I'm actually a Patriots fan. Oh. Y'all can hate if you want. Man. Y'all can hate if you want, but go Pats. Oh, hey. It just got musty. <laughs> no, no, and I've no, I've been I've been there since the Parcells Bledsoe days, oh, man. You so mad, bro? I'm a, I'm a so you're I'm diehard. A, I'm a, I'm a diehard fan, and and no, I know that uh, I can respect. I that, know but. this year. <laughs> I know this year is probably you know this is the start of our decline. Yeah, uh, we had a good run. Our dynasty, you know, for, shall forever live on, but. It's time for some other teams to take the spotlight. I understand. It's all good. That's just I, evolution. I'm not mad at it. I'm not it's mad not at all, bro. Seat taken. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm still, I'm still going to be rooting for the Pats out and of every single there's game. There's nothing so. wrong with that, though. You no. know what I'm saying? You stick with your team, and, and I, I respect people that do that. Yeah. And, and the reason I, I, I love the Pats is because uh, – uh, back back in the day, Bledsoe played for WSU. Really, he, I didn't know he that. Was, he was he was my favorite, yeah, Drew like Bledsoe. college oh, quarterback. Wow. And then he got drafted by the Pats, and I thought I thought he was going to go to the Hawks because when I was young, I didn't understand how the draft worked. I thought he was going to go from WSU <laughs> to the Seahawks. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then when he went to the Pats, I got pissed, and I was like, I want to root for the Hawks. And then, nope, I was rooting for the Pats. So I, you know, that's funny. That's a cool story, though. That's but it, and, and I got to meet him in an airport, and he signed a whole bunch of really? shit. Yeah, he can't. But anyways. That's, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, we do need to actually uh, get going. We've got two more tracks I want to play from you, brother. You know the Pats T- cut them, right? Huh? You no, know I know. They cut them. I know. They took away his job, man. No, I understand. You should just come back to the Seahawks, man. I, no, I can't. What, what, what kind of fan am I then? A loyal one. You're loyal to Bledsoe. Mm-hmm. They cut him. Cut the pants. Uh, we can discuss all this off there. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about body damage. Why is this song so short? Boom. I had to keep it short and sweet. Kiss it because um, I have a lot of haters. Actually, I've always had haters because I don't know. There's something about me that people see that I, I'm driven and I want to be successful. I'm a decent looking guy and I'm very outgoing. So they automatically want to just it's, hate me for it. You know what I'm saying? It's because you're good with the women. That's let's, probably. Let's, 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 <laughs> let's get down to the brass tacks here. Well, that's probably actually. I've had women tell me that. But <laughs> I. I so actually, body damage is for the haters? Body damage is just to shut these motherfuckers up that think that I'm not. I can't MC or nothing. You know, I, and not saying I'm the best lyricist, but I just want to like just. I wrote it within five minutes, literally, and just spit it. Word. Well, let's get into this body damage. We're going to check this out real quick. Come back and uh, say our goodbyes. And, and uh, I got one more track. I want to play Let's All Party, the uh, the upcoming video for Dan. Uh, but uh, by the way, you this like This pizza it? is bomb, by the way. Is that pizza good? Hey, where's who, that from? Who made this? Some Lakewood Garlic Gems. Right. JBL and Pizza.com mm. are wonderful sponsors who make the delicious pizza. I think this week is the uh, chicken bacon garlic. I don't think people yeah. understand. Chicken bacon like, ranch. So chicken bacon, thank you, thank you, thank you. It just folds in your mouth. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's some bomb shit. I mean, it might be that green that helped, but... <laughs> like, damn. Dan Valdez, we got him stoned and eating our food. <laughs> Here's body damage. We'll be right back here on Screwed Loose. Yeah. Mm. It's savage, they can't even fathom They wanna bust it, it's tragic Like running into traffic, I practice with magic Watch me grow, they'll be panic attacking I'm huge, like a massive package While other rappers are lacking The passion I have, duh, duh, goose I'm boss like Maverick I keep the pussy clapping, forever mac and paper stacking Keeping these lyrics blasting, give me a beat So I can express how they swagger jack And I swing my back, cooking it crack, crack I keep it cracking, decapitating Those who whack and get facial spasms When I step to the mic, they back up To those who flip my name and trash it Cause you give it up and let me fucking smash your body back And you know what I'm saying, here to let you have it This is the way the haters get damaged The body damage I said, uh, the body damage Yeah, uh, the body damage 
Yo, this is the way I wanted to express myself to the haters lately I've been coming up a little bit So, uh, I got a little middle finger for you And you, and you, and your girl too <laughs> Fuck you all Dan Valdez, Dirty D, you know what it is? 2013 Bitch, I'm out Body damage uh, Dan Valdez, I, I heard a little bit underrated in there You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah Potluck. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. People yeah. people say that sometimes. Or my my boy texted me. He said it sounds like reminds him of old school LL Cool J or something like that. Like. <laughs> nice. Good shit, man. Well, thank you so much for coming in and spending some time with us tonight on uh, on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I actually want to thank you guys because I had a great time. Awesome. Yeah, it's it's our pleasure, man. After, and, and after this, I'm gonna go out and try to get some vagina. It sounds good. Awesome, man. brother. If you can find <laughs> some for us, just you know, let us know. Hey, you know, where, hey. wherever you're gonna be at. Uh, you know, I don't know. He's married, but yeah. you can call me. <laughs> you can call me. <laughs> yeah. uh, what happens in the studio stays in the studio. Uh, uh, shit, you can bring him back to the studio. For <laughs> um, but anyway, Dan, thank you so much. Uh, hometown. Uh, home, home bred yes. here in Tacoma. Two five um, three. Yep. G- magnificent talent, brother. I'm glad that uh, that we crossed paths, and I'll definitely be playing your music on future shows. I appreciate it, man. Uh, before we get out of here, um, any elevator spiels you want to get out there? Any uh, anything you want to? Any websites you need to plug? Any shout outs you need to give? Just uh, I want to shout out Brass Monkey one more time. Tattoo. Shout out. Uh, shout out Brass Monkey the drink because I like malt liquor and orange uh-oh. juice. Okay, okay. Shout out to them too. Oh, real quick, I need to plug something. Actually, Do it. Uh, speaking of Brass Monkey, Maltoberfest Eight is coming up. Okay, and if you don't mm. know about that, what's uh, that? It's something that Craig Egan puts on. He hosts uh, Weird Revolution on NWCZ Radio, huh. but it's down at the Java Jive, the world famous Java Jive here in Tacoma, on South Tacoma Way. It's going to be October nineteenth, I believe. It's the third Saturday. It's definitely going to be a Saturday. Um, and it's going to be 15 bucks to get in mm. uh, killer lineup. The fun police are going to be there. They've got like a marching band orchestra, but basically what it is um, is you can come dressed in gangsta or German gear and you get, <laughs> you get extra drink tickets, but your, your, your admission, your 15 bucks gets you five drink tickets and all they serve is malt liquor oh, and, wow. you, and they can make you brass monkeys with orange juice and all that stuff. But <laughs> just all that, all the hot dogs and, and pretzels you can eat. Oh, wow. um, or, you know, come with your admission. So fill up on food. Uh, and the trick is that one drink ticket counts for whatever you have to drink out of. Now, they'll, they'll provide you a red solo cup if you don't have anything. But if you, bring, but if you bring a 60 ounce Stein, yeah, that's one drink ticket. So what? come come pre- pretty fuck come prepared. Bucks. Yeah, you get you get five bucks with admission. But if you, if you have yes, <laughs> if you have gangster or German gear on, you get I think two or three extra drink tickets. That's crazy. Um, killer lineup. I don't think there's much hip hop on the bill this year, but it's always fun. Like I said, they got like a marching band coming in. Wow. That like bring like tubas and shit and play in the beer garden afterwards. You should get them to play. Uh, the Seahawk anthem on the two list. <laughs> hey, yeah. We might be able to ring. That'd be gangster. Uh, but October 19th, Maltober Fest 8, Menace to Sobriety. Mm, okay. Is the, is the That's tag. dope. I like that. Uh, so, yeah, come prepared for that. Uh, down World's famous Bob's Java Drive. Thanks for letting me cut it. So, oh, yeah. Your, your plugs now, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, absolutely. And uh, I just want to uh, plug my album one more time, Shock the Monkey. Speaking of more monkeys, uh, <laughs> and um, that's Halloween 2013. Uh, iTunes and Google Play, go get that. And then um, that's about it. Keep your eye, uh, just if you need to, just Google Dan Valdez with an S, not a Z, and everything should pop up. Uh, YouTube, um, free downloads. Make sure you get those free downloads. I, I really stress that. I want people to download my free downloads for free that way you know they could bump my shit in their car and that's the whole point of why i make my music <laughs> it's good music guys go get it free is a good yeah. price you can afford it and you want to hear this guy he's got a lot to say yeah uh but dan thank you so much for coming in tonight brother yeah. thanks guys for taking the time i wish magnetic was here because she would have added so much to the conversation i, I would have loved yeah, to miss some out, big man. boobs i know i know she i know i know <laughs> Tell, hey magnetic magnetic if you're listening i i still need to see those <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna need to introduce yourself when you guys are out in public. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, screw loose. We're on GoJuiceRadio.com every Saturday at 7 p.m. You can always find the podcast at ScrewLooseMusic.com or on iTunes, and we are also on the TuneIn app. Just search search Screwed Loose 
Uh, we also re-air on nwczradio.com Thursday evenings at 10 p.m. after Weird Revolution and the Spud Goodman Show, uh, which I also happen to be on both of those shows. Too, so, <laughs> Screwed you know, just, loose. Yes. I love that. Uh, but definitely check out NWCZ Radio Network, too. I'm on 12 other shows on that yes. station, uh, so I'm all over the place. They love uh, me there. Hell, yeah. They, they can't keep me away. Because on one is on one. <laughs> he's on, on a motherfucking one. He's on 12. <laughs> he's on 12. <laughs> oh, yeah, on, on 12. Uh, yeah, and then go Hawks, go Pats. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> See, 12 man, too. Yeah, 12 man in I the still, house. I still got to root for the home team. I, I, I like to hate on them out loud because it's – fun to watch Seahawks fans connect. oh shout out to Richard Sherman just saying <laughs> oh, yeah. oh and shout out to Sherman yeah he's killing them <laughs> killing it <laughs> killing it all right Dan Valdez uh let's all party the new single that Woo! is is the uh premiere. this is the premiere if get I get excited I'm right. get excited guys and the video is going to be coming soon and turn it up we're out of here we'll be back next week cheers yeah. bye-bye
Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Screwed Loose. Find our podcast anytime at screwloosemusic.com. Listen from your mobile device with the TuneIn app. Just search Screwed Loose. Thank you to our syndicates, gojuiceradio.com and nwczradio.com. Please check out both of their websites for fine quality programming. Thank you to our sponsor, Garlic Gems Pizza in Lakewood, and find them online at jblmpizza.com. If you'd like to contact the show, send an email to screwedlooseradio at gmail.com. Thank you again for listening, and tune in next week for another great episode of Screwed Loose. Yeah.